after you, Michael. Come on then. Ah, uh, he knows I'm filming him now. Now he's behaving. Yeah, he's very <laughs> naughty. What are you doing, Steph? I'm making us Valentine's cakes. Valentine's cakes? Valentine's bunnies. I realise I bought the bunnies for Easter, but they're perfect for Valentine's Day. So, Valentine's Day carrot cake. It has to be carrot cake because they're bunnies, you see. And why bunnies for Valentine's Day? Because bunnies fall in love a lot. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here they are, all the way from Vermont. Make your grace sleepy. Come on, bunnies, I'm nervous. Do you think they'll drop out by themselves, or? I don't know. Doesn't feel like it. Maybe like a sort of palette knife or something to just yeah. ease. I'm not sure I have a palette knife, but I think it's a great idea. I'm sitting writing my thank you cards at the new library drum table, which I'm loving, though I really do wish that I'd actually had electrics finished in this room. Look, I have to use a candle because I can't plug a lamp in. What do you think of my new drum table, Michael? I think it's beautiful. I set it up now. I've got my Burmese beetle nut box. Okay. Uh, my pretty pencils, which is a bit silly because they're so pretty I never use them. Isn't that ridiculous? Wow. <laughs> they were a gift from my friend Oliver, but I just like looking at them. Are they Faber Castell? I use those mm. when I draw. So gorgeous. Not ones like that though. <laughs> if I knew that I could get more of the pencils then I would just start using these, that'd mm -hmm. be great. And now I'm going to do my thank you cards. <gasps> I can't imagine anywhere more peaceful to be doing this. But I'm wondering what Michael's playing in the background. It's so beautiful. I can hear him trying to work a piece out. So beautiful. What is it? It's, uh, it's an opera um, from the 1730s by Rameau, and it was said to be Marie Antoinette's favourite opera. So uh, whilst I'm working, you're just playing Marie Antoinette's favourite opera in the background. Yeah. I like it when you come and stay. <laughs> okay, so what are the words? Let's work this out together. Uh, well, I think you got them? I think I have the word somewhere on my phone. I'm just going to do the intro first. Let's try and work this out. <laughs> that one, Steph. Exciting day for multi-purpose library drum table. So you used it as a writing desk? Yes. To write your thank you notes. And now we're we gonna, gonna use it as a dining table. Yes. Just for two. Isn't it lovely? So you wanna talk us through what we got for dinner, Stephanie? Oh, well, it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> the massive pile of pasta with olives and capers and anchovies and tuna is for me. And this is what Michael is having. Eggs, smoked trout, salad and a slice of bread. What's on your bread? It's just olive oil and balsamic vinegar. And what appear to be massive glasses of wine, but actually they're one third wine, two thirds water. This is probably a good moment to explain something very important because a lot of people have said that A, they don't understand how I stay slim with the amount that I eat on the vlog. And also a few people are beginning to get quite worried that I might be alcoholic because there's a lot of cocktails and a lot of wine. 
And I do want to explain that the vlog is 20 minutes of a whole week that we live here and I film the things I like the most and I love food and drink. I saw my French grandmother who lived to 97. I think she drank wine with all of her meals or it wouldn't have been a meal to her. And she usually had a whiskey before her dinner, but I have never in my life ever seen her drunk. And it's the same here. We have a cocktail before dinner, maybe a glass of wine, but we just don't get drunk. That's not, I'm not interested in that at all, but at all, it's just for the taste. Oh yes, and for the eating, I don't usually eat much during the day, almost at all. Some, some days I don't eat anything during the day, and then in the evening I eat whatever I want. So that's why you see me eating quite a lot in the evening. <laughs> I'm not going to have the pasta. I'm going to have just mainly protein and a little bit of carbs with the bread and the lettuce. He's actually a lot better than me at being good. Well, I since actually since I first appeared in your vlogs, I've lost about 15 kilos. It's incredible. So yeah, I don't want to put it back on. So no, well, be careful. Sometimes I'll enjoy myself and. Sometimes I'll just be strict. Steph's just <laughs> writing a cheque for the postman with foils in her hair. <laughs> How's it going? Good. <laughs> Almost done. Are you going to make me respectable? Yes, I am going to make you respectable because um, you went to a, a new hairdresser, didn't you, while I wasn't here? <laughs> I forgot to tell her that my hair goes a bit orange. So you have been sporting ginger roots for probably the last, what, month? I think my Irish heritage comes out. When any bleach goes on my hair, it turns orange and only Michael can fix it. Yep, uh, I think we have fixed it. So we'll give this five more minutes and then we can wash it off and then you're ready. Yay! So five minutes, see me five. <laughs> Right, Michael, what are you doing? Roast chicken. <laughs> it looks very elaborate. Well, it's, like, it's not that elaborate. It's just uh, onions and some garlic and some herbs. <laughs> looks Nothing good. Nothing exciting, sorry. Oh, that's not exciting. <laughs> there is something exciting. There's something right next to you. Oh, look, Ian's back. <laughs> oh, wonder returns. <laughs> How have your travels been? Yeah, good. Sunshine in Spain. You lucky thing. Yeah. Uh, spoil. I, I went from uh, a few days from here into the Pyrenees region. It was Sun. sunshine and <laughs> a totally different environment. <laughs> oh, <sighs> makes me want to jump into the car. <laughs> it was amazing. It's yeah. good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. What's happening here, Ian? Well, a few uh, goodies from Spain. The local produce from the uh, the town where I was. Um, oh. So this is a. Speciality rice liqueur with a hint of orange. Oh, I didn't Ooh. know they did rice liqueur. Do you know what? Oh, it's actually no the idea. biggest rice production area in Spain. Wonderful. Or maybe even the only rice production area, I'm not too sure. So, yeah, rice is speciality. So, I bought the, the raw ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn that straight into liqueur. Thank you. Mm. And then there's a, a red from. Oh, lovely. From Let's get those open. The olive oil, mm. the press, extra version. Oh, you can see that at the bottom. Mm. And another Spanish wine, which was just uh, one which we tried once and thought was really nice. So wonderful! Thank gift. you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Have you seen all of this, Michael? No. This is the place to be. This section of the table. Is this? I'm very excited about extra virgin olive oil. Everybody, this was the, like, the favourite of everyone. Everyone that was tasting last night. I want to try it. Look yeah. at these olives. Let's get the olives open. Mm. How is it possible that there are more goodies? Ah, well, these are more personal because these are from the two families that I are the friends in Spain. Ooh. So they have the families have their own uh, olive groves. So family Noel, that's an olive variety. Root. Okay. I and this one, which you can see, is a totally different colour. Oh my goodness! Yes, massive. Is, uh, three different olives. Mm, we're like. going to do a tasting. Yeah. Your copper pans out. Gravy. Mm, I love it. Good texture. Oh, I love gravy. <laughs> Not too lumpy. <laughs> well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Good to have you all here. Another chicken passes and 
he says, incredible, this chicken is running so fast. And the farmer says, yeah, it's a three-legged chicken. He said, I breed them specially. He says, well, what do they taste like? You know, they taste as good as they run. He says, I don't know, I've never caught one. <laughs> Now we're going to try the olive oils that Ian has brought. Oh, I'm excited about this. Do you know which is which, Ian? Um, I do. Yes, yeah, so I've got the... Um, the, the power. <laughs> you have I'm the power. Hidden All right. Mm -hmm. This is very exciting. I like that one. Mm. Which one is this? That's extraordinary. Ian? I like this one. I don't understand what's happening here. More items from Spain. Great. I'm, I'm sorry if it's France, but I bought samples from Spain. No, no, you must go to Spain more often, Ian. Mostly handmade jewellery, so... Oh, how exciting! And you're taking this back to England yeah, to sell? Um, and who makes it? It's a friend of mine who lives in Barcelona. Oh, this is very pretty. That the the amethyst well. is nice. <laughs> oh, I like the pearls. I don't know, like this one. I really like it. Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, Arno, did you know it was Valentine's Day tomorrow? <laughs> oh, Arno says he doesn't understand English. That's a shame. <laughs> so, Dana, he did it. And it's not okay. even midnight yet. It's not oh, even It's Valentine's midnight Day. in Israel. Technically, you have to get her another <laughs> present tomorrow, Arno. <laughs> you peaked too soon. <laughs> oh my god, you got <laughs> what about my gift? Oh, you're gonna get it. <laughs> I gave in to temptation, and as there's no one here to buy me presents for Valentine's Day, I bought myself some earrings, and I urge that anyone out there who has no one to buy them something for Valentine's Day should do the same thing. These are Mallorcan pearls, and Mallorcan pearls are actually fake pearls, but they're the best fake pearls in the world. They're crystals dropped into a type of resin, and no one knows exactly what the secret is to them, because it's a very closely guarded secret, and Coco Chanel used them a lot in her huge pearl necklaces. So, it's a good tradition. Aren't oh, they the cutest family of sheep in the world? <laughs> yeah, you're very, very cute. Happy Valentine's Day! What a beautiful sight! Have a tea in bed. Oh yes, please. I can think of no better way to start the day. Valentine's Bunny! Oh my god, what is this? That's from uh, uh, Ian and everyone. A little bracelet. A Valentine's bracelet. That is so kind of them. A little bunny with some rose, dried rose petals <laughs> from Fortnum and Mason. <laughs> Courtesy of Brenda the Gibbons. Isn't he darling? Bunny carrot cake for Valentine's Day with rose petals. This is a perfect start to the day. A cup of Royal Blend tea from Fortnum and Mason. Well, thank you very much, sir. Just... And how are you on this Valentine's Day? Fine, but I have to go home today. Well, that's disgusting. I know. So I've probably got about two and a bit hours left before I have to leave. Okay, what fun are we going to have? Well, well, we'll have a tea and we'll get up and we'll... Think we'll of something fun. We'll just frolic around frolic, the chateau. Frolic for two hours. Excellent. <laughs> this is the first time this year that Thor has done his display. And already he's only showing me his bottom. Yeah, come on, Thor. Please. You beautiful creature. No, no. no it's definitely more of a bottom display from him than anything else. Let's try. Come on. Come on, Thor. Don't make me walk all the way round. Yep. It is good to see him getting into the Valentine spirit. Gosh, how beautiful. I bet you he'll start turning the other way if I... Yep. He will, <laughs> will never show me. He refuses. <laughs> Fine, we'll get a bottom shot if that's what you want. Are you interested, Sif? Hmm. You seem less interested than me, if I'm honest, Sif. Have right. fun in Bamania, yeah, you're going to go and get it ready for the spring? Yes, we're going to get it ready for the summer season. Yeah, yep. I know that feeling. I know, got a lot of, lot of DIY to do. So. That's what I should be doing here. Yeah, but you're making just frivolous clothes to wear. Yes, I'm going to see Mummy and Percy, yes! Oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you later. See you in one month. Bye! Back here, one month. It will be one month. I always feel quite nervous walking towards the mailbox on Valentine's Day. Isn't that ridiculous? 
I remember the excitement of not knowing if I was going to get a Valentine's card or not back at school. Before I made the vlog, it was only ever bills in the post box, but <laughs> see, these days it's always exciting coming to the post box. I have a parcel and a pink envelope. Perfect timing as it's Valentine's Day. Almost makes me feel as though I have a Valentine's card. I'm so speechless that I don't think I'm even... I don't, I don't know how to express myself for once. It wasn't a Valentine's card, the pink envelope. My Valentine's card count today remains at zero. Um, I'm telling myself that's just because no one sends them anymore, right? No one, no one sends them. But instead of being a Valentine's card, it's a check for a thousand pounds to kickstart our panelling fund for the Grand Salon. And I'm so speechless, I can't believe it. Thank you, thank you so much, Rosie. I'm, I'm, I, I'm speechless. This is the best Valentine's Day I have ever, ever had. Not my favourite day of the year, I'll be honest. Think it might be now. Thanks to you, Rosie. This is going straight into a special account for the panelling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And look, in the parcel, all the way from Canada, is the most darling tea towel of a hedgehog. And I would love to take this darling hedgehog to see ours, but ours has disappeared. He was being fed, but whilst I was away in New York, he seems to have, well, just gone. He stopped eating, so we're hoping that that's it. He might be hibernating. We let the laundry room door open and the back door so that he could come and go as he pleased once we knew he was at the right weight and he seems to have chosen to go. So that's his choice. I hope he'll be back in the spring.